Hey what's up guys it's me Narendra Mesh. Today I'm going to be talking about how I deal with competition nerves. Let's get into it. Before I continue I would just like to mention that this video was inspired by Iman Kohli who asked me how I deal with nerves during the PB request live stream. I am personally affected by competition nerves quite a bit. You can see this in my WCA page. In particular when comparing my results from final rounds to initial rounds you can see that there tends to be a great amount of inconsistency throughout my 5 and 1/2 years of cubing. I have come up with many ways for myself to improve my competition nerves and to get better results especially when under pressure. I am sharing these with you in hopes that you will be able to pick some of them up and maybe they will help you too. The first tip I will be going over is one that I mentioned on the live stream as well and it is to choose wisely where you want to sit when solving. I personally am someone that is affected greatly by large crowds which is why when given the option I will always choose to sit in the back or further row from the front. such that i will be less affected by this if you are someone that is not affected by this that's completely fine in fact if a crowd makes you feel better then it's up to you to sit in the front as well i personally want to sit in the back but really it's up to you to choose where you want to sit and if some place makes you feel uncomfortable either due to bad lighting or any other factor it's your job to go and tell the runner that you don't want to sit there you should never feel intimidated or scared to tell the runner that you don't want to sit in a certain area The next tip I will be going over is in regards to the one minute that you have prior to the cube cover being opened which is something I believe not many people utilize. This one minute can be used to get comfortable in your seat and to warm up your hands which are both minor things that will greatly affect your solve. For me personally my hands get very cold. Nowadays quite a few venues are air conditioned which makes it quite hard to perform especially when under pressure considering that your hands are freezing. To combat this I used to carry a towel but now I just blow into my hands. and that keeps them warm for a substantial amount of time especially while inspecting another major use of this one minute would be to calm yourself down you would be surprised to see how much you can calm yourself down from a very high anxiety stage to a very calm stage over that one minute the next tip i will be going over is one that i have already made a video on which is to use a warm up cube this might not suit you but i think it's best to at least try it as it's something that many top level solvers use and whether it be a big small or normal sized puzzle It does seem to keep your hands warm and keep them moving prior to solving. If you would like to know more about this tip, I recommend you do watch that video. However, what I just mentioned is a very brief summary of it. My final tip can be applied in cubing as well as other real life situations, and it is to come to terms with what a bad end result would look like. When you come to terms with what a bad end result looks like, you realize that the result is not that bad. While cubing might be a truly life changing hobby. not podiuming or not winning in a certain event will not really affect your life in a big way and this is something i realized far into my cubing career once i realized this i started putting much less pressure on myself in competition finals which made me perform a lot better while this does seem quite similar to the whole not caring attitude i do not really recommend that the reason i don't recommend it is because it can get to a point where you literally don't care about your times and you get worse times as a result Doing this gives you a perfect balance between not feeling nerves while at the same time caring about your solves and as a result getting better times. That's about it for the tips mentioned in this video. However, I do have one more thing to leave you on. In the description will be a Google form. I highly suggest you to fill this as this will contribute to one of my future videos. Essentially, it's going to be asking you how you deal with nerves so I can create a chart of some sort and list the most accepted ways to calm and deal with your nerves. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.